Howdy, this is a quick look at CSS Houdini app property, which became available in Chrome 85. Check the description below for current browser compatibility. Here we have an element with a linear gradient background image that uses a CSS variable as a color stop. Wave is set to 50%, and when we hover the element, wave changes to 75%. We want to transition the color stop so it moves smoothly between the two states. Using transition background doesn't work but we can use CSS app property to give more contextual information to the browser, which will allow us to transition and animate CSS variables. Define a property using app property, and then a variable name prefixed by two hyphens. Let's give our property an initial value of 50%, an inheritance of false, which tells the browser whether this value is inherited from the parent or not. Lastly, we define a syntax which in this case is going to be percentage. We are using a value of percentage because our custom property wave is a percentage value. There are other values you can use for syntax such as image, URL, angle, and setting a syntax allows the browser to type check our custom properties. We can now remove waves declaration here because we have it set in the initial value. And if we set the transition to wave, 0.2 seconds. We can now transition our linear gradient on hover. Perhaps we'd like to add a second wave to our background image. We can see here it's using a color stop of 60%. But what if we wanted to also transition this? Let's create a second property called var wave 2. We'll transition this property the same as we do var wave. And on hover, wave 2 will go to 75%, and wave 1 will go to 65%. Now we can add our second property, wave 2 which is the same, although it has a different initial value. And now when we hover our element, both of our waves transition. But the real neat part is that we can also animate these properties. Let's create an animation waves that runs for five seconds infinitely. In our keyframes, we're going to set at 50% that wave is 65% and wave two is 75%. We can get rid of our wave hover declaration and our transition. Reload the page and now we have an animated linear gradient using CSS Houdini's app property to give the browser the contextual information it needs in order to animate and transition custom properties. So in review, we can use CSS app property to define custom properties in our CSS whilst providing more contextual information to the browser. Providing a type via the syntax property allows the browser to type check our custom properties. And this also provides us a way to transition and animate between the values of a custom property. And that's it. Go have a play with the demo. Go read the docs. Let me know what you think. And hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Stay awesome, people.